Let's talk for a moment about what Max uses as a measurement system. We'll begin by first dropping a box on the top view. Once we have it set on the screen, we'll hit Z to center the object in all four windows. OK, let's now move to the command panel on the right and check out the values we have for the length, width, and height of our box. Now, I read these numbers as 129, 215, and 44. Problem is, I don't know 44 what. So I'm working with values that makes it very difficult for me to now control in an accurate way the size of my box. If I'm wanting or needing to work in a little more of a precise way, there's a couple of different options that can help. To find those, we'll go into the Customize pull-down menu and choose Unit Setup. The default measurement system in Max is set up to be something that's referred to as simply a generic unit, which by default is programmed to be a 1-inch increment. If you're needing a little more precision, you have a couple better options up above. You can convert to metric units, which then gives you the opportunity of working with a couple different measurements in meters. You could also click on Custom, which would then give you the opportunity to personally determine your unit of measurement both in type and in value. Anmax also has a system that it refers to as U.S. Standard. Here you can work in either fractions or decimals and feet or inches. Let's switch over to feet and fractional inches, then change our minimum unit of measurement to one quarter inch. Now if you look over on the right, you see a unit of measurement that's a little easier to understand. So the box's length is just a little shy of 11 feet. It's width 3 quarters of an inch short of 18. And it's height just a little under 4. This is going to make it a lot easier for an example if we wanted to frame up an addition along the side of our house. We can now more easily control the size of the concrete slab we'll need to pour. So I'll take the length to 14, the width to 12, and then the height or the thickness of the slab to 1. That'll give us a 12-inch footing. There's one more option in the Setup dialog you might want to use. Right under Feet and Fractional Inches, you'll see a listing for default units. Now, we've had this set to feet, which means that if we typed a specific value, let's say 5, we'd end up with 5 feet. But watch the difference if we change it over to inches. Now, by going back and typing in 10 for our height, we have not 10 feet, but 10 inches. Changing that instead to 24 would give us 24 inches, or in other words, 2 feet. So that should give you a few options when needing a little extra precision in your scene. You figure out which measurement system works best for the job at hand, then simply change the settings as needed.